Yeah. And then, of course, we're going to use federal money to pay ACORN uh, to do all of these activities, which has uh, become an interesting topic lately as well as we've seen some uh, enterprising young people going in and checking out exactly what the story was uh, uh, in these different ACORN locations. And uh, as you mentioned, an ACORN location, the uh, gentleman from Missouri, I happen to have an ACORN location here. This little picture is taken uh, not off the internet, not by somebody that uh, slipped in surreptitiously. This is a picture I personally took. Um, the weekend before the 4th of July, I'm going to guess on the 2nd or so of July of 2009, I went down to Acorn headquarters, Mr. Speaker. This is at 2609 Canal Street, New Orleans. And this building is Acorn's national headquarters, for all I know, the international headquarters of Acorn. It is the most fortified building in the neighborhood. The door itself is mostly bars, and so is the ground floor, the second floor. And you can see through these bars, it's a four- or five-story building. And if you look, um, Mr. Speaker, you can see this huge Obama poster right inside the window at the national headquarters of ACORN. Now, that's getting, that's getting millions of dollars of federal money. So we're using uh, taxpayer... 53 million at least, and I think significantly more, actually. 53 million of taxpayers' million. dollars to advertise for a political candidate. Well, I don't know that it all goes for advertisement, but the law says not one dollar can go for advertisement, that they cannot be involved in partisan political activity. Now, I, I am an objective observer here. I know a little bit about partisan political activity. When you put a poster in your office window... In my construction office, for example, if I put a poster in the office window that says Bush for President in 04, if I were a 501c3 corporation, I would be in direct violation of the not-for-profit, nonpartisan requirements of the IRS. I'd be in violation of the tax laws. If I put a poster in my window, I'm also in violation of some of my customers that are of a different political persuasion, so I'm a little sensitive to this, although I've been fairly bold. I follow the law. This cannot be following the law. ACORN should have its not-for-profit status removed immediately for them and every one of their affiliates. They should be taxed. The IRS should go in and audit every dollar that's come into ACORN and their affiliates. There should be a Justice Department investigation. There should be a congressional series of investigations done by a number of committees, including the committee chaired by the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Frank. Financial services should investigate, judiciary should investigate, government reform should investigate, ways and means should investigate. If I could find a way to get the Ag Committee investigating, that's what we need to do with ACORN. Well, it almost makes you wonder about the, uh, the Attorney General investigating. Uh, I, I suppose perhaps the gentleman has seen some of the various tapes uh, that were cut um, with hidden cameras as uh, people went into various ACORN locations. Uh, it was kind of an interesting phenomenon, nothing that was broken by the big media in America, but it just shows that that underground kind of media, the new web and the internet and the bloggers and all, uh, you have an enterprising gentleman and a young uh, lady going in and uh, being very bold in various ACORN offices, talking about the fact that they want to open a house of ill repute and want to get some help of ACORN to help them figure out how to buy the house. And, and, and the, the, they are so candid with what they're saying, and the comments that are recorded in camera, uh, I think, have been getting a lot of hits, a lot of people watching it. The, the mainstream media has paid no attention to it, and yet all over America people are Looking at this, they've already heard about ACORN and the, the dozens of major violations of this organization that we're paying for with tax dollars. And they're saying, what? I mean, what in the world is going on? you got some, and the, these two are, are just uh, actors, you know, but they're en entrepre entrepreneurs in an information kind of age saying, you know, they're just going in pretending like they want to open up a house of ill repute so he could raise money to run for Congress. As and, a uh, and it's it's almost laughable if it weren't fun. I mean, if it weren't true, uh, but they were some uh, interesting sets of tapes and uh, and, and some courageous people that were willing to do that because uh, there was some threat potential there.